Hey y'all, welcome back to Homemade Simple. If we've not met before, I'm Lori and I'm really glad that you're here this week. I have some really delicious and super simple slow cooker meals to share with you. I have been amazed at number one, how easy these have been to put together and number two, how delicious they were. I am really excited to be able to bring them to you this week. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's get started making these delicious and easy slow cooker recipes. I'm so excited to use my brand new crock pot that I got on the Black Friday sale on Amazon. Today, we're gonna start with a super simple vegetable beef soup. I'm gonna start by adding two large cans of crushed tomatoes. You can use diced tomatoes as well. I cubed up four potatoes. I tried to make them pretty small so that they would cook evenly. I'm gonna add two bags of mixed vegetables and one pound of ground beef. I'm gonna season it with a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. You can adjust the seasonings to fit your family's preferences. It'll just add a different flavor and nuance to each batch of soup, so use your imagination and be creative. I'm gonna also add a little bit of water. I like to try to rinse out my cans of tomatoes to make sure that I'm getting all of those tomatoes in the soup and also that the soup is not super thick. I'm gonna cook it on high for three or four hours. You can also cook this on low, just simmering all day. And this turned out to be super tasty and just a really great dump and go recipe. It's always nice to have those kinds of recipes in our arsenal that we can just set and go and it will be done when we get home. This was a delicious soup recipe that my whole family, except for Lane, thoroughly enjoyed. Okay, now it's time for this week's absolute best recipe. This was a game changer for our family. We are going to add this to our normal routine of meals Everybody just kept talking about how good it was. You have got to try this recipe. I'm gonna start by chopping up an onion in this handy little chopper that I found. I'm gonna link it down in the description box because this is something that you really need to check into. It's one of those things that you think is probably a piece of junk, but then you use it and you see that it's a game changer. I used this several times this week. Now in a bowl, I'm going to mix together one cup of rice, one cup of chicken broth, and one cup of sour cream. I'm always glad to have my little helper cooking with me. I'm gonna add to that one can of Rotel and my one diced onion. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cumin, and a teaspoon of chili powder. Now that I have all of the ingredients added to the bowl, I'm gonna give it a good stir to make sure that all of the spices and seasonings are well combined and to try to incorporate the sour cream as much as I can. Then I'm gonna lay out one and a half pounds of chicken tenders. You can use any kind of chicken for this recipe, but I would recommend that you chop it up into smaller pieces if you have just a large chicken breast. Then I'm gonna pour my bowl of ingredients on top of the chicken, set the crock pot to high for about four hours. If you wanna leave it on low, you can cook it for about seven or eight, and then it's ready to go at dinner time. This was by far our favorite recipe this week. It is delicious, satisfying. I topped it with a little bit of cheese, we ate it with some green beans and some tortilla chips. It was so good and tasty, perfect for these cold winter evenings. I think that you're absolutely gonna love this recipe. Next up this week, we had a super easy take on beef stroganoff. I used some ground beef that I had cooked earlier in the week, which made it just a really simple dump and go recipe. 
It was probably about a pound of ground beef, maybe a pound and a half. To that, I'm going to add one recipe of my cream soup that I make on the stove. This is just to replace store-bought cream of chicken or cream of mushroom soup. You can check for the recipe down in the description box. It adds the flavor of cream of soup without adding all of the extra preservatives and ingredients that we tried to keep out of our food here at our house. To that, I'm gonna add one cup of sour cream, one diced onion using my handy dandy chopper, and one half block or four ounces of cubed cream cheese. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Feel free to correct my pronunciation of that very difficult word. One cup of chicken broth. You can also substitute beef broth or beef bouillon. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm gonna give everything a good stir, trying to incorporate the sour cream as much as possible. The last ingredient is eight ounces of mushrooms. I use the large slices of mushrooms. I really think that this recipe would have tasted better and had a better consistency if I had used the stems and pieces of the mushrooms. If you love mushrooms, this will be perfect, but I felt like the pieces of mushrooms were just too big. I'm going to cook this on high for about four hours. You can again cook it on low for seven to eight, and that will be absolutely perfect. I'm going to cook up some egg noodles, and also I'm going to make some vegetables in the air fryer. I just used two bags of California medley vegetables and put a little bit of olive oil and salt, cook them in the air fryer for about 15 minutes. Beef stroganoff is one of those things that I just sort of forget about, but every time I eat it, it just reminds me of how much I love it. So this needs to be on the rotation as well. Tonight we're going to have some white chicken chili. I'm going to start by placing two chicken breasts in the bottom of the slow cooker. I'm gonna add four cups of chicken broth, one bag of frozen corn, the equivalent of three cans of beans. You can use navy beans. I used pinto beans just because that's what I had in the pantry. One can of chopped green chilies, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder. I'm gonna give this a good stir. I'm gonna set this on high for about three and a half hours and then I'm gonna add some half and half and allow it to cook for an additional 30 minutes or so. You wanna add the half and half or heavy cream toward the end of your cooking time because you don't want it to curdle. But I'm gonna add two cups of heavy cream. I also got the chicken breast out from the bottom of the crock pot, shredded it up a bit, and now I'm just trying to add a little texture to the soup by breaking up some of the beans with my meat masher. This recipe is really good by itself, but also if you want to top it with a little bit of cheese and sour cream, I had some avocado in the refrigerator, so I chopped some of those up as well. This was perfect for a busy winter evening. I know there are so many ways to make chicken chili. I would love to hear about your family's favorite chicken chili recipe down in the comments below. Our fifth and final recipe this week is a yummy chicken and rice casserole made in the crock pot. It is so yummy and delicious. I know that I've used a lot of the same ingredients this week. That's what makes these kinds of meal plans super simple. You can just throw several of the same ingredients in the buggy at the store and you're ready to go home and cook some delicious homemade meals without a lot of effort. I'm going to start by chopping up one to one and a half pounds of chicken breast. I'm going to set the crock pot aside and in a separate bowl, I'm going to add one large can of crushed tomatoes and a full can of water. I like to swirl it around a bit to get all of the tomato that was left. To the tomatoes, I'm gonna add one cup of rice, one diced onion, again, using my handy chopper, 
one frozen bag of corn, one can of green chilies. For my seasonings, I'm going to add one tablespoon of cumin, one tablespoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon or two of salt. I'm going to mix all of this together so that the spices and seasonings are well combined. And then I'm going to just pour this on top of the chicken in the crock pot. I'm getting this going pretty early in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on low for eight hours. But you can also get this cooked a little quicker by putting it on high for about four. This dish was really good with some sour cream and cheese on top. I wish I had had some cheddar cheese, but we only had mozzarella in the fridge, so that's what we went with. This was the perfect one pot meal. We didn't have to have any extra side dishes or anything extra. We did use some tortilla chips on the side, but this was a perfect meal for a winter evening. Well, I sure have enjoyed sharing these recipes with you. I hope your family enjoys them as much as mine did. They were all delicious and perfect for these cold winter evenings. I know you have so many wonderful slow cooker recipe ideas. I hope that you will be willing to share those down in the comments below. And also, if you don't mind giving this video a big thumbs up or sharing it with your friends and family, that would help the channel so much and I really do appreciate all of your encouragement and support. Be sure to stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more slow cooker recipes in the near future. I'm excited to bring those to you as well. I hope you have a wonderful week. I love you and I will see you again next time.